What's cracking, folks? It's your boy Hat Free Speaks, and we're going to go ahead and jump into there with Joanne Jett and the Black Hearts. And this song's called I Love Rock and Roll, the official music video. So, folks, as always, it's going to be a first time listen, first time reaction, all that good stuff, all that good razzmatazz. So, if it does, does intrigue you, I would appreciate if you do hit that subscribe button, notification bell, give the video a like, give it a share because it helps keep you up to date with more reactions like this as we progress forward and continue building the channel. All right, so this was actually a, a winner in the song vote we had on Patreon. If that does intrigue you as well, Patreon and all that good stuff, check the link below in the description box and hopefully see you on the other side. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on there. Uh, like, if I'm not here that often on YouTube, I'm usually in the back end giving details on what is going on around me and, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's interesting. There is like-minded uh, folks there who also enjoy music quite a lot. Quite a rich history of information there to tap into. And, yeah, we're all good. So, anyway, thank you very much. And uh, let's jump in without further ado. they were never there 
Where have I heard that before? H has a... Have a, a another... Has another band done a cover to that song before? I'm not 100% sure. That's what I said. I've, sounds like I've heard it before. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that was definitely raw, gritty, and dirty. I mean, I have to admit, an addition, addition to that, an addition to that, do excuse me, is the fact that I was picking up that, who's that singer from Aerosmith? Anyway, I was getting this really sort of, that kind of raw energy, like, you know the Aerosmith singer? Now, do forgive me, you might think, Heart Free Speaks, you're supposed to be a musical maestro, you're supposed to know the ins and outs. Forgive me, guys. I tend to be a bit forgetful with names. If you don't, but if you don't believe me, go back to like the Queen reactions. I didn't even know their names from the start. It's like until you guys started educating me in the comments. But anyway, the, the thing what I'm alluding to is the fact that the energy there, and this video looks old. The fact it's only really black and white, and I mean, it just looks old anyway. But it reminded me of the Aerosmith, the energy, the rawness of it, and just in addition to that, the 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 the, the location where they were, the bar. As soon as they left, well, it, it's like there were ghosts. You know, they were, they were there singing the song. Everybody disappeared. And then she walked out. You know, what's her name? Jo Joanne? Joanne Jett. Okay. So I'm not aware of this artist. I'm not, I'm not even, I don't even know the, the band, the Black Hearts. Uh, but the song does seem familiar. The melody, the riff, all that good stuff. It does seem familiar. I don't know why. It just does. Right, let's see what the comments have to say about this. Uh, so that was rich. Uh, 42 years later, people are still coming back to this song. Greatest never never end with Joanne Jett. This woman is immortally beautiful. Thanks so much, JJ and the Black Hearts. You're truly a band for the ages. Uh, somebody just wrote here, just played this for my nine-year-old daughter in the car this morning and she shared my love for Joanne Jett with her. Told her this song came out when I was almost her age and how it changed everything for me. Girls don't have to just sing, we could rock too. Showed her pictures of Joanne Jett and explained just how badass she was and is. The Runaways too. Got to see Joanne in concert once and she was so great. Would love to take my daughter to see Joanne in concert someday with me. Okay. Well, the gist, what I'm getting here, this, was, this comment was a year ago. More the recent comment saying... Uh, Greatness ever ends with Joanne, so I'm guessing. Oh, I'm assuming she must have passed away. Excuse the ignorance, guys. This is a first time listen, first time reaction. So, yeah, that was it. I love rock and roll. Why does that seem so familiar? It's a famous song, it has to be. And the way, the way she carried herself, the gothic look, she portrayed it well in that video, absolutely. Till the end. So yeah, I was picking. But you know, if this band was before Aerosmith, we could. I could. I'm gonna suggest Aerosmith were influenced slightly by Joanne Jett. Just her demeanor, the the screaming, the 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 the, the screams that she was doing, the ow and all that good stuff during the song. I'm pretty sure that was quite dynamic for the age this was released. All right. So that was I Love Rock and Roll. Thank you so much. Uh, yo, do I love rock and roll? Do you guys love rock and roll? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the flow of it. I, I guess if Queen like it, I like it. If you like it, we all like it. Why not? Why not? All right, folks, that was my reaction. Make sure you are staying safe. But boy, I like a bit of dance, funk, remixes, all that good stuff. I was going to suggest somebody, but it may be, go check out Sick Kick if you guys haven't already. Sick Kick music. The guy does some sick, ill mixing. I don't always listen to his tunes, but now and then, ooh, some of the mixes on there, especially that summertime tune. It's all right. It's all right. All right, folks, make sure you are staying safe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.